Yes, Miss Craig. President, your speaking of historians induces me to ask you this. Most former presidents have put their official papers in libraries in their home states where they are not readily available to scholars and historians who come here to work with the Library of Congress and other agencies here. Have you decided where to put yours and would you consider putting it in Washington? Yes, I'm going to put it in Cambridge, Massachusetts. <laughs> Let me uh, say, I know that uh, we have a library now in Independence, Hyde Park, Mr. Hoover's library at Stanford, uh, Mr. Uh, Eisenhower's library at uh, Abilene. Uh, there are uh, advantages and disadvantages. In some ways, it helps stimulate uh, scholarship in those areas. In addition, uh, through uh, scientific means of reproduction, microfilms and all the rest, it's possible to make documents available generally here in Washington and uh, through the archives, Library of Congress, and at the Libraries. The number of scholars who deal with these subjects in detail, it seems to me, will find it possible in a central place to get the kind of documents that they need. So that uh, uh, while there is a problem, as you suggest, Ms. Craig, I think that uh, we can, and this will certainly be increased as time goes on, we will find it possible to so uh, reproduce the key documents that they will be commonly available, I would hope, in Washington. There are a great many other advantages to a library. If you've gone to Franklin Roosevelt's library and to Harry Truman's library, it offers a good deal of uh, stimulus to the study of American history besides being a place where you can keep uh, uh, for a long time documents. There are many other things of interest which I think are rather advantageous to have spread around the country, particularly as it stimulates the study of the uh, presidency.